Jonathan, thank you very much for the invitation to your stand at uh, AMB Stuttgart 2018. Now, I understand it's the world premiere of the M50 Milton. Tell us why this machine's a little bit different now. Good morning, Mark. Welcome at WFL. So the M50 machine um, is a well-known machine, which is in the field for many, many years. But now we did upgrade the performance data of that machine. We did upgrade the tooling system in terms of the size of the tooling system. And that makes it now more attractive to a wider range of customers in the field. Now I understand that uh, there's a second spindle on this machine now. Exactly, so we have now a full sub-spindle or counter-spindle version. That means where you, before you had to take out the part, turn it around and put it in the machine again uh, with the tailstock version, we are now having two identical spindles on the machine where you make an automatic transfer without opening the door in between to complete the second operation of the part. And why have you added this extra spindle? Is it because of customer demands or, or maybe something that you've thought about? Of course, automation um, is going on, is going ahead, and everybody wants to uh, prevent opening doors, manual interventions. That's the reason why we decided to include here this additional sub-spindle. And it's even more powerful than it had before, so we have now the 45 kilowatt version on the main and sub-spindle. So really, automation is quite key. Does this sort of lead on to industry four for you guys? Absolutely, so Industry 4 is still a big topic all around us and what we are offering already is a WFL solution uh, named Data Analyzer. We are extracting data out of the machine which the, the operator, the programmer or the customer can use on his mobile devices. You can use it in your factory but you also can use it outside of the factory. The beauty of it, it is on a standalone computer, so it's uh, separated hardware from the machine control, and this provides you the data, so it's, it's not directly included on the machine control. So, from a tooling perspective, what do you have on this new machine now? Mm -hmm. So these days, we're coming up with a more powerful milling head as well, 35 kilowatts, and it enables us to use one step above of the size, that's CAP to C8 or HSK100. The tool magazine can be upgraded for C8 or HSK100 to 144 stations, which is very important to have the appropriate amount of tools available in an automated process. And when you look at the machine configuration, is the machine actually larger than the previous model? Yeah. Also, um, a modification to the new type is the center distance. We have now six meters between the centers in a maximum configuration, um, which is uh, very useful for ID machining of long shafts, of long parts. Maximum tool length here is 1.6 meters for boring bars for the ID machining operations. And ideally, this machine, is it for existing customers or a particular sector that you're obviously very key in aerospace in the UK, I know, but is, is it very much for different sectors as well? Yeah, it is for both. It is definitely for existing customers who are using already machines with the same tooling system, for example, like C8 or HSK100. But it's as well for new customers um, who hadn't been able to machine such a shaft with that type of tooling system and that performance before because they had to go to a larger machine, which maybe was um, um, too large for the available space in their factory. And in reference to, to, to the build time on these machines, is it still around about the same sort of time as the M50 used to be? Um, in terms of the delivery time, um, it is more or less the same. Um, so we are configuring the machines on, on customer orders, uh, customer specific configurations. We are starting to take a look at the application of a customer and then optimize the, the configuration. So any engineers that are interested in the new M50, how can they actually see the machine? So actually the best way is to contact Kyle Machine Tools, our representative in the UK directly for first-hand contacts. Then we have the possibility to go to Linz to see the machine in our factory. We also would like to invite customers to the open house in Linz where we are opening our doors and showing that and other machines in operation. That's uh, in March next year and all the UK customers and engineers are very much invited to see us there.